Biscuit here, and as you can see, I'm playing some Guild Wars 2. This is actually from the second beta weekend, so it's a little old, but whatever. Anyway, it's not that old. Uh, right now, the dynamic event that I am partaking in is Defend the Bear Shrine from the Sons of Svenir. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, so basically you kill these guys and keep them from getting the shrine. So, yeah. Anyways, what I really wanted to talk today about was, I keep getting people asking me this question, how do I get my girlfriend to game? you know, game with me, or whatever, or just game in general. I think that a lot of guys want their girl to game so that they can just game, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> Anyways, so, and this can also go for, you know, girls trying to get their guy to game too, but I don't really get asked that question very often, if at all, so, <laughs> but number one is, you know, find a game that you both can play together like you know call of duty is a game you guys can play together but if she's really not into first person shooters you know and some girls aren't and other girls are and they really get into it um what i would say is uh you know split screen it play together either online or do custom maps matches you know and also one thing to consider is don't own a face okay you want to make it fun for her. If it's not fun for her, then she's not going to want to play, and she's going to hate gaming, and it's going to be your fault because you're a douche. Okay, uh, you know, you have the big penis mentality or whatever, so, you know, let her win. Not all the time. I'm not saying go completely easy on her, but, you know, tone it back. You're not playing with a bunch of, you know, people who are really good. You're playing with your girl. And so, you know, give her benefit of the doubt there. Don't pull out all the stops and, you know, hit the ground when she's shooting at you and things like that. Be, you know, have fun. Don't do it as a competition. Now, some girls really enjoy it, you know, competition-wise, which is great, but you want to let her get through that learning curve first. Especially with Call of Duty, with Modern Warfare 3, for me, I, I rage quit constantly. I, I can't do it. Um, Black Ops I had a ton of fun with, but Modern Warfare 3, I don't know what it is. I hate it. I really don't get into it very much. Another thing is don't just play, you know, first-person shooters or whatever. You know, find a game that maybe she can get into. And even if you guys aren't playing together, and the point is, is that you want her to, you know just play so that you can play more you know find a game for her that she might like maybe she's into first person shooters maybe she's into mmos you know um another good game to play together would be borderlands um that would be fun i mean it is still first person shooter with a, a bit of rpg as well so it's really about finding a game that she can enjoy and you know and maybe you guys can enjoy together so yeah, I don't know. It's just have have fun with her. Get a game, you know, that you think that you both would enjoy and play it together. Don't just, you know, stick with one game because what if she's not in first person shooters and she's never going to game and then you're never going to get to game and yeah, that's just not going to work. <laughs> so, I mean, overall it's just um having fun with each other and you know, gaming is one thing like I don't want my guy to be a douche and, you know, oh, well, I'm just going to play first-person shooters and I'm going to ignore her, and that's no fun for her at all. You know, if you guys want to do something together, girls really like doing things with their guy, you know, it, they do. They really enjoy it, and even if it's something that, per se, they are not exactly into, they will still, you know, participate in things that they enjoy you know, as long as they feel included and they're having fun together. If you're being a butthole and, you know, ignoring her while you're gaming, that's just not going to be any fun. Um, or if you're being, you know, uh, a dick and, you know, owning her face, it's not going to be any fun for her. And the thing with, to remember is that girls are dating you because they want to spend time with you. Not so that they can be ignored. And they're with you because, you know, they just like being included and having fun. You know, they're not dating you so that they can be completely ignored. So, 
if you're addicted to gaming, which many of you are, the key is to maybe find a game that you both can enjoy together, not trying to mold her into just the game that you want to play. So, you know, have fun and, you know, enjoy each other's time together. And it, that's really what it's about. And gaming is really a fun way to stay in and, you know, have fun, goof off and have a good time. So, I mean, yeah, that's about it. So here with my dynamic event, I ended up getting a gold. So that was 267 experience points, 32 karma points, and 16 coins. Go me. So anyways, guys, thanks for listening. I'm Love Biscuit, and I'll see you guys soon.